trains and buses, games and songs. Come join us and sing along. Transit Talks is where I'll be, the coolest place in NYC. Welcome to Transit Talks. Hello, my name is Roberto, and I work at the New York Transit Museum in Brooklyn, New York. And this is Transit Talks, where we think about everything transportation related and how we move around our city. Before we get started, let's settle in, make sure we're nice and comfortable, and we'll take a nice few deep breaths of air in and out together. All right, here we go. Take a nice deep breath of air in and let it out. Take another deep breath of air in and let it out. Take one more deep breath of air in and let it out. Great. Now we can start Transit Talks the way we always start Transit Talks, with the hello song. If this is your first time at Transit Talks, I'll sing first and then you can join us the second time we sing. Here we go. Three, two, one. Hello, hello, hello and how are you? I'm happy, I'm happy, I hope that you are too. Great. You know, I'm also feeling ready. So when we sing it again this time, let's sing I feel ready. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Hello, hello, hello and how are you? I'm ready, I'm ready, I hope that you are too. Thank you so much for singing with me. Now today at Transit Tots, we're gonna think about art. And there's a lot of art in the subway. We're gonna focus on one artwork called Oculus, or I. And it's by Kristen Jones, Andrew Ginzel, and Ronaldo Pires. We're going to look at this artwork closely, and then I want us to say what we see. This artwork is composed of 301 different mosaic panels. Mosaics are when you take pieces of glass or stone and you form a picture together. So that can be like letters, numbers, shapes and colors, and even people or parts of people as well. Now, this mosaic is at Chamber Street World Trade Center in Manhattan. Now, the artist wanted to show the eyes of different New Yorkers. So we're going to take a close look at three photographs of Oculus Eye, and I want to share what we see. Take a close look here. What do you notice? I see a few uh, different colors used in this one. I see the color white. I also see many different shades of blue. And in the center of the eye, I also see black. What color are your eyes? Let's look at the next one. This photograph is showing us some of the mosaics of the eyes while a train is going by and there's a passenger walking too. They look a little bit blurry, but look closely at the artwork, at the eyes. What colors do you see there? I see the colors are brown. So the people who had their eyes photographed and that were then made into artwork on the walls, those eyes are brown. They had brown eyes. Let's look at one more photograph together. What do you see? I see a few of the mosaic panels and I notice someone is looking at them closely. Sometimes art in the subway can brighten our day. Maybe we take a pause when we're going in a rush from place to place and we take a close look at it together. All right, before we go make our own mosaic eyes, we're going to first sing a song. Maybe you've heard this song before. All right, here we go. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. 
Let's sing it one more time together. Head, shoulder, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Great. Now that we finish singing, we can do the art activity. For this art activity of making your own I Subway artwork, you're going to need cardboard, paper, construction paper, scissors with the help of a grown up, glue, pencils, colored pencils, markers, and crayons. You have a few options of making your own Subway artwork, and I want to show you some examples that my niece and I made. My niece Shyla had some cardboard and she used markers, colored pencils, and crayons to make this one. So on here, she put blue for the eye and brown for the skin. And she used white for the other parts of the eye and then black for the center or the pupil. So this is a person who has brown skin and blue eyes. Another example she did was she used colored pencil and this is supposed to be a person with brown skin and brown eyes. Take a close look. If you like, you can draw it. You can draw an oval with a piece of, uh, with a piece of paper and pencil. Then you can draw a circle and then a smaller circle and start coloring in. That's one option you can do for your own eye artwork subway. Another version, if you want to do collage, where you take pieces of construction paper, and with the help of a grown-up, you can have scissors to cut this up. You can have small shapes that then you get to glue together and put them on some cardboard paper. This is the one that I made. I call it green eye brown skin. So I put little squares and rectangles to make someone that has green eyes. And then we have over here the brown skin of the person. So we were inspired today by the artwork that we saw in the subway called Oculus. You can make your own and think about the different color eyes that people have and how art in the subway can make us be inspired and make us pause when we go around the city. I hope that you had a good time today with me at Transit Tots and I hope you get to look more closely the next time you travel by subway in New York. Thank you so much everyone. I hope you come back again for Transit Tots and you can see my friends and colleagues with more fun videos. Have a great day. Trains and buses.